am I, an open hotline? Who are you? I'm Sky Lass, founder of Brokertech. I have a proposal for you. We should speak in person. No, you send an offer to my people, and maybe I'll consider. I'm the only chance you have of saving Aiden Pierce. Come and get it. I'll send the coordinates to your optic. Who wants a drink? You want it? Hey, Jackson. What do you know about Sky Larson? I literally have her books on my shelf. I have a subscription to her Masterclass webinar series, and I won her Larson family scholarship. She's brilliant. Okay, didn't expect to unpack a big crush there. Super sweet. But I think there's something sketchy about this. If she can help Aiden, we don't have a choice. Hey, normally I'd be down for an icy British woman telling me what to do. But this time I'm a little nervous. If I was a multimillionaire, I'd have a nice crib too. Huh. Wait, is she a billionaire? Greetings, Reginald Blackman. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. It's Wrench. I know you have the broker bridge. Uh, moi? <laughs> okay, no, you're right, I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the deep labs were built for? Why they kept a secret. Bring the broker bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do. Okay, one, don't be mad that the love of your life was flirting with me, and two, you get the feeling we're jumping into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa! Th what? Th hey, did you read my diary? No. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time. On speaker. Just call him back. Trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, shut up! Sky said we needed to bring the broker bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind.
Is that the broker bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake broker bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the postal service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to broker tech. All right, I'm here. And they've definitely gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass pants today. Detected searching the area.
guys? We've got a problem. The levels to the deep labs have been disabled. Remparts locked the whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash. I'm in. Rambart left behind some of his buddies here, too. So you know that calls for a little ambiance. Won't that give away that you're here? Hey, that just makes it more fun. Let's party! New orders. New work orders for all of you. I want to see what the best of Broca Tech is capable of. You all would have belonged to me in the merger if Sky Larson didn't fuck me over. So consider this a delayed... You see my team members posted around your workstations, don't you? You think those weapons... You dare show your face here. Trying to take Sky's labs? Just kiss, Thomas. You know, you've got a real problem with stealing other people's shit and passing it off as your own. You should have been flattered that your work was worth stealing. But just like your ex, I've moved on to better. And just like his car, I'm gonna fuck up your shit with a sledgehammer. venture here's done for, Tommy. Your company's toast, and you've got nothing. I made sure of it. Oh, I got exactly what I came here for. And your reckoning is coming. But for now, I can be patient. Next time I see you, I'm gonna peel the skin off your face. Slowly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and all other fine folk, with that, Monsieur Rempart has left the building. Excellent. Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access. There. You should be back in. Then we can begin. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. Wait, what? You, you mean you've never done this before? This 
is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of the project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared about taking Rump out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Hey, there is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Abe. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. For Aiden. Does this mean I'm inside Aiden's mind? Hey, this looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Maybe I can get in through the backyard. Hey! Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. At least this door's unlocked. Way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture. Is that me? Wow, I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Phone's gotta be in here. Gotcha. All right, who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you were coming from the start, instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever. Just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. 
You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? started. I better pick a different path. Lena, my sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jack, come on, you're it. Come here and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just haunts him.
Just find Lena, Jax. You can do that. Mom? Arden, are you okay? This was the worst day of my life. And it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it. And I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No. But... Maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. Found Aiden's cap. your cap and you're leaving with me right now still need my coat fuck your coat fuck this this literal mind game you know what i saw in there right is lena just in there all the time we need to get the fuck out of here so let's go i told you i need to finish this first and what is this exactly a grave your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down.
Where is this going to lead now? It looks like I'm going back to the house, but... Jesus! Why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? Can't get through here. I need to get up there. into. Okay, I need to find Aiden's code. Just focus on that. crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? Jesus. Who the fuck are all these people? Fuck, I think they're all dead. Who? Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Aiden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this.
I'm back. This better work. I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skibbies, you know? Just for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! <laughs> Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson. Your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But, as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. You know.